we are here in Pretoria at um, the church square and right behind me you'll see I'm just going to step a little bit out of shot so you can see these are members of the EFF right behind um, the statue of um, the former president of uh, the South African Republic of South Africa uh, Mr. Paul Kruger and members of the EFF are here today picketing outside here um, calling for the removal of um, this particular statue here um, saying that um, you know this is obviously a statue that is associated with a South Africa that was based on discrimination, a South Africa that was not equal, a society that did not speak for everyone. But I am joined by um, EFF member uh, Merineilu Mashabel, and she's just going to tell us a bit about the reason for their picket, what, what, what are their demands, and what, how do they exactly um, want to see this statue, this particular statue, um, go down um, in, I don't know, what, is, what are the time frames in terms of when they want to see the statue um, go down. Merineilu, thank you so much for talking to us. Can you just um, maybe just tell us um, the reasons for, you know, the, why you want the statue uh, to be removed um, in, in this particular church square. Okay, thanks, Matago. Uh, in the first place, we know that today is a heritage day in South Africa, but we know uh, the 24th of September is the heritage day, but we are not going to celebrate the heritage day because otherwise we'll be celebrating uh, these uh, white racist people, especially when we are here today. We are here today, uh, Matago, just to make a call, it's not for the first time, to remove all colonial, anti-black, and the apartheid statues, just like this one of the land thieves, Paul Kruger here. So we are here today, we are not celebrating Heritage Day. Heritage Day without land is meaningless. So we need the statue of Paul Kruger to be removed. This statue must fall, not Paul Kruger alone. There are many statues, white races, uh, colonial and anti-black statues which must fall and replace with our freedom fighters who fought for apartheid. And then, Marinello, you know, I, I hear you are saying that the statue must fall because it represents a, a racist South Africa, but there are some, you know, in, in other corridors where people will advocate for statues like this continuing to be up, saying that you cannot erase the history of South Africa whether you take the statue down. What would you say to this? No, not all uh, people are saying this. It's only the ANC government who promote this uh, anti-racist, anti colonial and apartheid statues. That is why today you can see here, the ANC is going to hold its election manifesto here, right here in Paul Kruger statue. Paul Kruger, the apartheid murderer, uh, anti-black person, now is only the ANC government who don't have respect for all black people. This is a statue of a colonial, anti-black and apartheid murderer. So we are not going to to celebrate Heritage Day, we are here to demand the removal of this statue. Not the Paul Kruger statue alone, but all white statues must be removed, must fall, as from now. Thank you very much. And also, Marinello, in terms of what you're doing as, as, a, as a political party, uh, what processes are you following? You spoke about other statues in other parts of, of, of the province and other parts of the country. Is there a, um, any particular um, you know, moves that you're taking to ensure that these statues actually come down? But you, you, you know very well that this is not for the first time when we are talking about these apartheid statues. Long before, I think now this is the eighth year speaking about these statues that they must be removed because they don't re represent our democracy. So they remind us of apartheid. So we are demanding that all of them must fall, including this one of Paul Kruger, the murderer of our black people. It must fall. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mayor Renelo. And as you've heard there, um, Renelo Machabella from the EFF, a member of parliament, saying that they have been demanding the removal of these statues, saying that statues such as um, this um, statue of Paul Kruger, a reminder of um, the legacy of apartheid that a lot of South Africans had suffered under, saying that there is nothing to celebrate uh, with today being Heritage Day, that um, these statues need um, to go down, saying that they'll continue to call for the removal of statues like this and not only this one of uh, Paul Kruger here in um, you know in Tswane but also in other parts of the country in other parts of the province